All right, so we're gonna complete this. We're gonna find the inverse of this function. So to find the inverse, what we're gonna do is we're gonna swap the x and the y. So we'll have x is equal to one minus three y, and then we're gonna solve for y again. So we get negative three y. Uh, what I did is I subtracted one from both sides is equal to x minus one, and then divide through by negative three. When I do that, I get y is equal to uh, negative x over three plus one over three. All right, um, so we can check and see if this is the inverse. Uh, let me see here. So what we're gonna do is, um, is plug this back in and we're gonna get, uh, we're, we're gonna, this is actually the inverse. So we're gonna plug this back in. So one minus three times negative x over three plus one over three. So one, and then remember to distribute this minus sign here. So this becomes plus um, three x over three minus three over three. So this becomes one plus x minus one. Ones cancel out and you just get x. So it is in the inverse. Um, and the graph for this looks approximately like this. Here's the see here so our um, our standard graph of y or 1 minus 3x is the blue and our our inverse is the red so negative x over 3 plus 1 third okay that's it